I got it. Okay, so we have these avatars that are going to be, so we're going to enact that bridge scene. The bridge of death, though I don't know what it's called. Uh, and here's our guard. Uh, here's here's uh, the various characters there. And uh, we're going to, you'll have to draw these characters. Okay, how hard is it, do you think, to draw what you've just seen on the screen? Not hard? Geometry? Okay. So you just, and, and somehow putting those things on the screen. Anybody put something like this on the screen before? You have? No wonder you have so many classes. Uh, but lots of you haven't. Okay? And that's okay. Uh, we have a tool, we'll have a tool that lets you just describe the geometry. And from that geometry, it'll automatically go and display things. Okay? That's a system called Object Editor, which I've written. Um, and uh, let's just see what we can do. Uh, we can move Galahad. This is the tool that's okay. And uh, I can say move uh, 50 units on the x direction and maybe 25 units in the y direction. Okay, I apply this. It actually moved. Okay. So how hard do you think is to make a character move? Again, you have to just move those coordinates, you know, once you can draw something, you can move things also. But you have to group things, right? You have to make sure that only Galahad moved and not everybody else. Which means the arms and the legs of a character have to group together. And what kind of concepts can you use to group things together in a programming language? Classes, objects. In fact, isn't this great? They are all instances of the same class. All these characters happen to be instances of the same class. They're a little different, okay, that's okay, that's different parameters. So you will learn not only how to, you have to create, firstly you have to create a line which is a geometric object as, a, as something in Java, which will be an object. That will be like an atomic object. And then you have to make these atomic objects into composite objects. Okay, so you'll learn, you'll be doing composing in many ways, but here you're composing basically data structures together. Okay? So that's not too hard, but it'll take you four or five weeks. And I entered, I entered things through a menu, right? And making menus, filling dialog boxes, some of you know how to do it, some of you don't. If you don't know, that's okay. Um, uh, by default, this tool I've got will automatically create these things for you, okay? So uh, you don't have to worry about that. And let's make things a little bit more interesting by going and doing this show interpreter command, okay? So I said, I, I did a menu-based interaction. Here I'm going to actually do a command line interaction. So I'm going to say move Galahad minus 50 and we're going to bring him back to his position, earlier position. It actually worked. Okay. How hard is you think is to do this? What do you have to do? Sorry? Yes, this is, you have to write this, interpreter. Sorry? You have to somehow scan. There's a class called scanner, which will do automatic scanning for you, but you, shouldn't, you won't be able to use that. You can use it to read a line, but the actual scanning you have to do yourself. And your first assignment is a step in that direction. Okay? Okay. Um, what else can we, now I can keep typing, in, you know, I'm not even a touch typist, so it'll take forever. So, but I can write programs, and I'm going to play a canned program. So, next thing I'm going to do is rotate left arm Galahad. Okay? So now I can, you know, I can rotate, which means you have to know enough geometry to rotate things. And you notice I rotate it in the anti-clockwise direction or the clockwise direction? Clockwise. But when you normally increase angles, uh, you do that in the clockwise or anti-clockwise in geometry? Counterclockwise. You go this way, right? Zero, pi by two. So in Java coordinate system is inverted. Y goes down and uh, you go clockwise. Okay, I can move. I can, I can rotate my arm. Can I combine these two things into some uh, action? What, what, what might that be? So 
I, I can move, I can rotate my arms, I can rotate my limbs, so I might be able to... Ah, beautiful. See, I asked the right questions for you guys. So... <laughs> and I can do it twice. So you have, I started off Galahad, then I started Arthur. Two guys walking at the same time. Now, what con concept in Java might you use here? And if you know that, you might not belong here. But you'll still learn. Threads. Okay? Threads are basically ways to do multiple things at the same time. Okay? So we'll, you'll learn about threads here. Okay? And even if you know the term threads and have done threads to some degree, trust me, you'll learn something. Even if you know everything that I'm going to cover, just by doing the project, you'll learn something. Every time I do the project, you'll learn something. Okay? So don't be worried that you won't learn enough. Okay, now we're going to the Holy, fetch the Holy Grail, and you know, there's a king with his knights, and we shouldn't be walking individually and trying to find our own way to the Holy Grail, right? We should be doing things together. So I, I, want, to, I want to go back there and make them both march together. So if I... Um, have the command walk forward to go 10 steps in x direction. What command should I have to go back where I, to where I was? Walk backward or something that's very generic every tool has? Undo. Have you ever seen up, walking being done undone? Well, you'll see it here. Okay, two undos working in parallel as threads. Okay. I hope you guys like this demo. I spent a lot of time thinking about it. Okay. So now we're going to march. Not very coordinated, huh? <laughs> Let's undo and see how uncoordinated we are. That's a problem you have in threads. When you have threads to multiple activities at the same time, you have to coordinate them. So, how many of you have been part of a marching band or ever marched? So when you march, you need, you need, you need a band, right? We don't have a band here. So we're going to make them wait for some drum beat. And the four of them are waiting. We have another character here. So what can the character do to make them synchronized? Conduct. Conduct. He's just got his arms. Okay, so he's clapping, and to the clap they're walking. Okay, so that's a sync clap command. Okay, so what I did was I said sync march forward where they were waiting, and then each time he clapped, they moved one step forward. Okay, how to do that? You learn, you learn through threads. Okay, so the question is, my interpreter now is fairly simple, but um, how many of you have used Alice at all, or know something about Alice? And what does Alice do, if you were to explain in English? Uh, is this somewhat, is the, can you see any compa uh, relationship between this and Alice? Okay. So Alice was developed by a guy called Randy Posh. And if you don't know who this guy is, you should Google him. So he was a wonderful guy. Um, and he had a something called uh, The Last Lecture, which you should all listen to um, when you have time. Um, but the whole idea was that you have somebody else who had done Alice. Can you see a relationship between Alice and this? Yeah. Yeah. So it, it probably had threads, yeah. And you were writing programs. Basically, you had a 2D environment, right? That you were, you had an interpreter. And your programming consisted of writing things in the interpreter, essentially. So people learn programming by using the interpreter. You guys are so smart and you're advanced programmers, you will write the interpreter. Okay? And not just write little things that say move or rotate. You're going to write loops and, and so forth. So we're going to do this guy's clapping ourselves on the command line. And, you know, it won't be that hard. I mean, it'll be hard, but I'll, I'll help you. Okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to, we're going to explain, we're going to describe clapping, not in Java, okay, sync clap here went and just called the Java method. I'm going to use our own language to write sync clap and um, okay. so this guy's going to sync march forward, they're waiting for that 
method for that procedure to be written and called. I'm going to define, this one says, do you want, guys want to uh, uh, interpret what this really means? What am I saying here? Can you read it? I'm defining a procedure. No classes, that's too complicated for us. I'm saying guard arms in, okay? That's what he does, right, when he claps. That means rotate left arm by a certain degree, rotate right arm by a certain degree. That's my arms in, right? Arms out is just do the opposite action. Okay, so you, you guys will actually be defining these things. And now I'm going to actually show you how this is working. Now I'm defining a method called beat, which says call guard arms in, then proceed all. Proceed means you tell the people who are waiting, go ahead. Okay, stop waiting. Um, and sleep 500. Sleep for 500 units so that we can see this on the screen. Okay, that's what you do. Clap at a certain rate, right? And so forth. Okay, all these things will make much, make much more sense. But right now I'm showing you how this is working. So you said scanning. What does scanning mean? Scanning means taking a bunch of text and breaking it up into tokens. So we had this text here and we broke it up into tokens. These tokens were broken up into then a sort of sentence. That's my parsing. And based on that parsing, I said, okay, I have a method called guards arms in. Whenever somebody says call that, please execute this piece of code. This piece, interpret this. Whenever somebody says guard arms, guard arm out, please go and do this action. And whenever somebody says beat, say guard arms in, proceed all, sleep. So this is the kind of data structure you're building, okay? If you're lost at this point, you should be, but you just get an idea of what's going on, okay? And you guys, I'm not hearing you put you pack your bags. Thank you. Let me just show you this. So now I'll actually show you um, how the scanning is going. And if you can just wait two minutes, okay, this is going to go. So it's going to be, it's got the token define, it's got the repeat, it's, it's just searching for blanks and and, and not character things. It's got another token. It's got this token here. And it's, you know. Okay. And fine. We've got the tokens. Now we're going to have this, this, we have the sentence. And now this table should get populated. Okay. The table did get populated. And uh, let me just get rid of this now. Rid of this. Rid of this. And uh, now you see the clapping is happening much slower because we're making it. But this is, this is the clapping that, this is thread beats. This is saying, please call the thread with beats. Okay? And, uh, you know, I hate to stop at this point, uh, but we haven't even gone to the dialogue. So what I'll do is we'll start with the dialogue next time and, and, and you, we'll finish the project.